welcome to aws with Matic. today i'm going to show you how you can use uh, aws document db to launch your mongodb server so aws has a managed service called document db and using document db you can launch uh, or you can uh, use managed service and run your mongodb databases here so it is exactly one to one compatible with mongodb just it's a uh, different naming so that means anything that you can run on uh, the core mongodb you can also run it here as well so i think this is they have changed to give a different naming like because of licensing issues so if you uh, remember that uh, previously we had elastic search but now it is called open search <clears throat> because of licensing issues so it is exactly same uh, but the just the different name Similarly, document DB is exactly MongoDB, just AWS managed. So it's have it. That's why it's different naming. So let's get started with uh, creating a MongoDB server in uh, document DB. Okay. So I am in uh, my MongoDB home console. So if I search here, uh, document DB, you should you get here. If you click, you will come to this screen. Now I don't have any uh, document DB clusters ready. So just create a launch a document DB. So um, this is the name. That's okay. Version four, oh, that's good. Now choose the instance that fits your requirement. I can choose the smallest one if I have. Yeah, here it is. The smallest one is T3 medium. So yeah. Now, number of instances, I'm going to use only one because I don't want to have any kind of like uh, multiple ACs. But if you need uh, fault tolerant, uh, this kind of uh, high availability, you should use number of multiple instances and also create re replicas. For me, it's a simple application or so just to test how document is working. So I'm going to choose the one instances. The master username, so... Uh, we are doing testing doc db. I'm going to master password and content password. So let's generate a password from password generator. Pretty simple. Um, this password generator. Copy the password and use it here. Okay, I'm going to uh, save it in my local as well. It's just not like anything else. Okay, um, I'm going to request permissions to my AWS resources. That's okay. Click cluster. So, okay, it is starting creating the cluster. It will take some time. Um, let's take, I think, five minutes break. Meanwhile, it will be created. Okay, so uh, the instance is ready now. If I refresh, it's all showing available. If I go to the details here, and um, there are a couple of ways whether you can connect to your instance from the terminal. So one thing that you have to understand is that uh, you cannot directly connect to your document DB from your local machine because it's inside a private subnet. What you have to do is use a NAT gateway and uh, then uh, connect using that NAT gateway. So um, for that, let's go to APC. Create a NAT gateway. Okay. 
just a moment. We have to go for subnets and okay, we have two different VPCs. I have to delete one. And this is the default VPC. And this is also under default VPC, right? Yes, okay. Go to net gateways. Get a net gateway. Choose one. Okay, it will take some time. So let me pause the video for, I think, five minutes. Okay, I am back. So all the instances are uh, ready. So uh, I just had one misinformation that is feeding the net uh, gateway. So actually, we don't need net gateway, but uh, what we need is an SSH tunnel. So let me explain what it is. This uh, MongoDB uh, cluster, that is the DocDB, it's running in a private subnet. And uh, using if it's a private subnet, you cannot actually uh, go here and uh, connect with it. What you need, it's a uh, some sort of tunnel. And we can use an EC2 instance as a tunnel and connect to the EC2 instance. And then from that EC2 instance, we can connect to this document DB. So uh, that's the one point. Another point is I created one uh, parameter group, copying the base one, and then I have disabled the TLS. So this is just one thing I have done it in this time. So this is the cluster. And if you go to the details, and uh, previously, if you have sent something like uh, getting a CS certificate, that is not there because I have disabled it. If you click this link, you will get information how to uh, enable or disable this SSL TLS. So it's quite informative. You can just copy paste things from here. So uh, what we have to do is uh, we need to go to EC2 instance <coughs> and launch a new instance. And this will be our SSH tunnel. So give it a name like SSH tunnel. And then I'm going to uh, get the EPN name. I already have some key pairs. Or uh, what we can do is. Okay, I think I have to go here. <laughs> I'm in a different region because I already have some keys to key pairs. So click on launch instance. This is Sage Tunnel. I should have a key pair called tunnel. Yeah, here it is. <clears throat> okay, I don't, I only need SSH uh, full access, so that's okay. And in the advance, I'm going to use an EC2 instance profile. If I review this, looks good. Click launch instance. And this will install. Uh, launch a new instance. I'm going to details of the instance. So this is our instance. 
and uh, we have a security group so just copy the security group id we need it to whitelist this security group for the mongodb so if we come here and we will see there is another security group that is related to this document db and just i'm going to details of the security group and here <clears throat> what we have to do is we need to uh, allow access to uh, mongodb ip from that particular tunnel so let's go to the edit click add a new rule all tcp and here just paste the security group id so this is our ssh tunnel and delete the previous one that was a testing so this is the new rule that i have added save the rule that's good now let's go to the details of the instance and if i refresh it it should be okay copy the public ip i need that to create this so here uh, let's go and create a new connection dot db then on the host name i need to copy the host name that is given here this is my host name and go to the authentication and copy the username and the password i have previously saved here that is the password then going to ssh and click on ssh tunnel copy the ip of the instance username i am using amazon linux too so username will be easy to user if you're using ubuntu then the username will be ubuntu in the private key i'm going to click on this drop down and show the path of that private key of that instance passphrase is not required tls that's not required we have disabled that's advanced there is nothing to be done click on test all looks okay save it and then connect it okay so far we have connected to that uh, document db we can create a new uh, database sample db we can create collections users so we can inspect insert document user name okay document is okay so i'm going to save this and if i come here i will see my data there it is so um, what we have done here so far in summarize we have created a document cluster which is actually mongodb then we have um, disabled TLS, LS, SA, TLS via the parameters group. We have created an uh, EC2 instance, which will act as an SSH tunnel. And using uh, Robo T3, we have connected to that uh, document DB cluster. Created some collections, created some database, and we are going to also add some more tables collections if needed. So far, that is the uh, video for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I will get more videos regarding documentary. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.